everyone, I am the Random Gamer, and welcome to Day 5 of Power World. Today, I'll, I'll actually want to show you a cool glitch here. You can actually Spider-Man crawl up the roof. I thought it was really cool. So, we're just going to go to sleep, and we're going to start on Day 5. Okay, so... Let us just go through uh, our inventory and just make sure we have some things. We have very little Poke or uh, Pal Spheres. And we got some food. So the food's good. Let's go get some Pal Spheres because that is very important. So trees and stone. Today is going to be a longer gameplay video probably. I might do days 5 and 6 together. I'm just trying to speed through because like... Honestly, you can play for, like, I, on my personal account, I played for three weeks, like, three in-game weeks for, it took two days. So, you can really get up there uh, in time and level. Let's get some stone for the repairs. Pickaxe. So honestly, I kind of am hoping they update this to have kind of like more of a background musical tone because it is it is a little mundane sitting here and just listening to the pure sound effects. Like I'm not going to complain. It's a great game. But it would be nice to have a little bit of a musical score alongside it. So we're going to go up here and repair our axe and then maybe craft some pal spheres so that when we go on our journey... We're not just uh, dying here. So we need an egg incubator and a crusher in the long run. I don't think we're going to focus too much on that. Like I said uh, the other episodes, I did want to move my base. So I might go discover some areas and move it to get a better area. Ah, more stone. I just need one more stone. Are you kidding me? Just drop on down. What? It was right here. I thought, no, it's on the other side. So we still need to capture a bunch of pals to capture or for the tutorial mission. That's one of the objectives today. And I do want to do that. Maybe I'll complete the tutorial mission for the, uh, the base. I don't know exactly. I do want to move it, so... It's kind of an internal debate I'm having right now. Now, as you can see on our map here, we've already been there. So we're going to pick up from there. We're going to probably make our base later around here. Something like that. It's a lot to transfer bases, to be honest. So we might go make, like, I don't know. Might stay here for a while yet. What do I need for the crusher? I can build a crusher right now. Perfect. Let's do that. Let's get that over with. You guys, build. The other thing was a egg incubator. I need one more cloth and some stone. So let's go find a pal, a lambda. A lamb ball is what they're called. Not lambda, lamb ball. Oh, that big green guy is really good if you can get him. But we are not leveled up nearly enough. So, oh, that's going to hurt. Daydream. I see a daydream up there. That we might go get if we can get him. Let's let's go. Okay, you could fight a chickpea. I don't know. I wish you could target really. There we go. Just wait. Just wait. Get him. Wait. Pull back. There we go. I'm going to catch him. I'm going to catch a daydream. There we have it. We got a daydream. Those are wonderful pals. They don't really do anything, but they're just cool. So, on our quest to find lamb balls. Let's go find a lamb ball. There they are. No, that's a chickpea. But where there's chickpeas, there's usually lamb balls. Aha. So let's get up here. 
I don't honestly care if it kills it. But I'll try my best to catch up. You, Come here. Ooh, I got four wool from that other one. Heck yeah. I think we caught enough chickpeas last time, so I'm not going to bother with them. Now back to base. We need to craft... Oh, shoot. Let's eat a grilled chickpea. Yes, those are definitely delicious. That should be enough for now. Hello? I'll just take you for the meat. Ha! You're gonna fight me too? Good luck. Fight that one. Chicken versus chicken. Oh, get him. Why are you fighting me? Fight the chicken. There we go. Let's try to see. I want to see if I need any more of them. No, we are, have already gotten the experience bonus. Yes, my pals. Let me grab your mining. Good, good, good. Oh, wait. I'm forgetting one thing. I needed more stone for the, uh, the next thing to build. Alrighty. Kind of want to just fill up my inventory almost. Get some wood and stone. Okay, that's enough stone. I guess that'll be enough resources. Let's go up. What was it? It was an egg incubator. That's what I thought. I uh, I need cloth. That's what I was doing. That's the wrong one. This is the right one. Uh, let's do way more than I need anyways. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, okay. You, go away. Go water a field or something. Okay, let's make that egg incubator. And we should actually go find eggs. There we go. They'll build it for me. Now all I have to do is just kind of wait for them. What else do I need to craft? Some arrows will be nice. I can do 16. We're just about to level up. That's awesome. As soon as we level up, we can research, I think, the next like phase. The rhythmic blacksmith board. Should I just be helping you? Like, this is taking forever. There you go. Jeez. Smack a smack a smack much. Alright, upgraded to level 7. So now we need a hot spring, furnace, and a plantation. That's wonderful. I don't even have a berry plantation yet? Oh wow, I'm behind. Okay. Let's get moving on these missions. Oh, we caught all the, we did all the tutorial missions. There we go. So now it's just up to us on how we will progress. Let's go into this inventory menu. Ah, I have ores. That's weighing me down. I'll put my stone in there for now and the fibers. That's good. In here. Wait, what the hell? So here's the trick. Try to keep all your stuff as organized as possible because truthfully, excuse me, it does get messy. And you always will forget. If you put everything everywhere else, you will forget where you put it. And it's just no fun. It's no fun that way. Let's make the rest of these nine baked berries. That should be enough to level up for us. What did I say? It was Jeff. Five was enough. So let's finish off the next couple. And we got to choose our evolution skills very carefully. Because, you know, you don't want to spend, like I said, forever 
leveling up just to level this up, you know? So we need a hot spring, primitive furnace, and a berry plantation. Okay. So I see primitive furnace. The hot springs are already done. That's good. This, we definitely need nails to, to be able to craft nails. I, oh, that's cool. Caller for Daydream. If Daydream is in your team, it will stay by your side and attack enemies. It gives access to your uh, special ability, I believe. And the berry plantation. Did I not? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. So it doesn't matter what I spend my remaining points on. Let's do the collar, the necklace. And how's about... I'll do a furniture set. And that'll be it. Let's upgrade our stats to be... Well, we got one on health, one on stamina, one on attack. Three on work speed and two on weight. So I think I'm going to put the next one on attack. No, stamina. More stamina is better, personally. Okay, so we have a bunch of crap to do. But before we go do all that, I'm going to go quickly adventure the next area and try to unlock another tower. So like I said in the previous video, I'm going to go over it again. If you use the D-pad, it will work properly. If you use the joystick, it does this, and you can't do anything. But if you use the D-pad, that's how you're supposed to fast travel. All right, so we're in this nice little nook. Now we're going to go back over towards... Wow, Fire Pal. They're the Fox Parks. Come here, Fox Park. Pick one. Pick one. There we go. We got one. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. No, come back. You're going to do too much damage to him. Oh, jeez. There we go. We caught a fox park. Oh, that is awesome. We definitely needed more of those. Especially for crafting the uh, furnace. We definitely need them. And don't worry, I seen the glowing thing over here. This is a note. Ah, the castaway journals. Truthfully, I haven't done much about them. And we're headed towards that tower in the compass that's 200 meters. Or th this one here. Not that one. That one's sketchy. We're not there yet. But down and around here, there is a massive area, and this is where I do want to kind of build either the second or first base even. And there is greater PAL selection, I feel, in this area. And look at that. That, I think, is a horse or... Yeah, it's like a horse PAL. It's a... Oh, I can't read it from here. A Malpaca. Oh, that's cool. A Malpaca. That's a funny name. I might even build a little hut around here and store some stuff, especially if I'm trying to, you know, upgrade to this area. So let's climb this rock. I think it's up here. I haven't actually done this area ever. I did the area that was next to it. As you can see, there's... Oh, jeez. Come on. Oh, yeah, that's right. No stamina. Okay. Let's get up here. There it is. I don't want to go all the way to the bad guy's tower. I do not. That is not the goal today. And I know I'm not going to win. Not, none of me and my pals are evolved enough. There it is. Here we go. The fast travel point. Jump on down. Here we are. So we got some fast travel activated. Let's go get these gumasses. I'd seen them up here. Trying to be sneaky. Think I didn't see you. Oh, I don't know. They're all running away from me. They know I'm after them. They just know it. Come here. Yeah. Attack them. There we go. I'll do all the damage now so I can catch him. Hmm. I don't know if I want to even 
deal with this. This is a whole new thing to me and I am not ready for. And this looks like the boss tower. So we're just gonna get out of this area because we're nowhere near the levels we need to be to try bothering with that. But it, as you can see, it's a very nice area, lots to go through. So that's up there. Let's go back here. Okay. And so we went like, I don't even know which way we went, to be honest. It was really weird. But we're going to go up this way now. Kativa, Gumas. Okay. So I did construct in my old account the second base around here, but let's talk to you. You're a new face, don't tell me. An outsider? Not that it matters to me. Now that you're on this island, why not try and catch some pals? You get extra experience for catching up to ten of the same kind, you know? You know what they say, pal tamers get stronger the more pals they capture. Here, take this. I've got high hopes for you. Gave me some palladium. Nice, thank you, sir. Yeah, so we went like in a similarly wrong direction but I'm gonna go up here oh no stamina I'll go all the way up you're gonna be way behind like I mean way behind Keep your eye out for random eggs placed around, by the way. They're everywhere. And yes, I know, I see all the other pals, but I don't know if we're high enough level to try. Those guys especially are really tough. Yeah, look at them. Barely taking hits. Oh, goodness. You destroyed them. He's destroying them. It's time to send out the kitty cat. Huh. Meow. Go. Go, go, go. Try. Try to catch him. Not a chance. He is not going to do it. Oh, no. We might lose. We might lose. Okay, 50% margin. Come on. Let's catch him. Yeah, we're going to catch it. Nice. We got it. We got the... Oh, God. Ike Thire Deer. Ike Thire Deer. That is such a weird name. Oh, that's who you were originally fighting. I'll take you. I need a bunch more. Yay. Six more. Or five more. Six more to go. So we're going to chase this kind of like. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Let's try the Hoot Yeah, buddy. Get him. Attack. I want this cook. Gotta whittle them down. Whittle, whittle, whittle. While I wait for stamina, let's have a quick bite. Nice. And go at it again. I like how they're not even fighting, it's just spazzing out. Okay, let's get it down to a smidge of health. We're almost there, we're almost at the part where I could throw a pal, pal spear. Ready? Ready now. Oh yeah, it's definitely mine. No? I didn't catch it? That's a joke, I've only got one pal spear left. Catch! Come on, that's gotta be a catch. That's gotta be a catch, come on. Yeah, we did it, we caught the Capri tree. Capriti. There's some, some tough names to pronounce sometimes. Okay, I think I do need to go all the way up here now, which sucks, but we're just gonna go on down. And I have no more pal spheres, so no more pals to catch. That's unfortunate. Okay, I do not remember this area. But we're close to the fast travel beacon. And then there is a specific one I do need to unlock, and it's I'll show you guys. I'm going to do a special video for it. 
it's where the market is so that you can actually go sell stuff and buy ingredients instead of always hunting for stuff i got stuck on my old account trying to find wheat and yeah you just have to purchase most of that kind of crap it's it's funny though there it is we made it to the fast travel point oh beautiful beautiful and just as day five is about to end i honestly think i might do day six we'll see so we did this one here up here and these one up here now we're gonna head back to our base see how everything's going on before it turns into nighttime for real everyone's looking good so far i can craft that so why not um something important to note when you craft the pal sphere attachment thingies or the pals attachments they uh, kind of automatically just work you don't really need to do anything about it i searched my inventory for like five minutes once and there's nothing you just it automatically puts the ability on so you can use the uh special ability which let me demonstrate if i throw out this guy the ability down on the bottom middle says dark knowledge so when i unlock who creates um attachment thing it will have a, a marker with your x button and say like hey you can do this attack now and it's very useful you can use it to pardon me ride and shoot and fly and i think it's a excuse me again sorry i just haven't had enough coffee today i think it's a really cool mechanism having that ability anyways we're only getting some stones so we can do repair and then I think we'll end the day. So it's getting pretty freaking dark. And we don't really have enough material in total to do all the lighting around here. As I said, I do want to move the base. So let's go up here. And just repair my uh, pickaxe. There we go. It is repaired. So now, now we are going to help him finish the necklace uh -huh. because my God, he is slow. Go back there. This takes forever, man. This is why I recommend upgrading work speeds so quickly because, like, it truthfully is painfully slow. So we're going to conclude day five today, and we're going to move on to day six. Here we are, day six. So as we've progressed in the map, as you can see here, we progressed fairly decently. But we're going to do it again. Uh, not yet, not yet. I need to do some more stuff. Let's go get ore. Now, the reason I want so much ore is because I'm about to build the furnace, and then I can actually start really messing everything up. I can really start going to town on this game. And we can get somewhere. Alright, wood, fiber, ore, and stone. So we can carry about 450 weight, which is pretty decent, but ultimately I would like to see that number get up to like 750. Because eventually, like, you will move things between bases. And you're going to want to carry more than just like 20 wood, 50 wood at a time. You're going to want to make decent trips. So I recommend making sure you have decent space. And I apologize for the screen glitch again. Uh, my internet is being stupid right now. So just ignore the glitching. It's otherwise fairly smooth in my opinion. So you shouldn't have an issue. Let's get some more spheres. Um, I think that's best. When we go adventuring to really bulk up on spheres. So that in case we find some new guy, we can just take him on. And what do we need for the furnace? We need 20 wood and 50 stone. It's actually a lot of stone. So I'm just going to empty some of my inventory here. Because then I can carry more stuff and go through more. Go get more stone automatically. I'm going to start cooking an... Ooh, 
this the roast Ike Thire Deer. Ike Thire Deer. That is the most messed up name ever. Four of those will cook. Oh, you know what I forgot to do last time, guys? I forgot to put another pal in here. We're going to have him so he can cook food for us. That's going to be so, like I said, so useful. He is such a help. Let's go get the stone. I feel like that's the one that's going to be the hardest to collect. The amount of stone it wants me to collect. Let's go over here. Good, 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 good. Why does it seem like it's getting dark already? Jeez. Now, when you're crafting, I did this to myself earlier. I was trying to craft arrows, and I had tried to craft, like, over 300 by accident. I canceled it, and it dropped everything right in front of me. Be careful how much you craft. Always double check before you hit the button, because it is a nightmare. Yes, we need a parachute. This thing will save us so much time. There he comes. Took him a while. Good. So you got a parachute. Now we were trying to build the furnace. This is super duper important. And actually I'm going to need to shift the fox park or actually i'm gonna go get more and then it's easier if i just go get more fox parks it'll be way easier then but he might work while i'm away we'll see we'll see as far as i know some certain things like the mill this the uh primitive furnace you have to get your personal pals to do but we'll see as you can oh i'm wrong he'll just do it on his own that's good that's good so we got one part of the quest finished i won't feel bad for going to adventure some more do i have I have expensive stuff. Let's build a chest. I need more wood. Are you kidding me? Always with the wood. Gonna level up soon. I feel it right about now. No. Why? That's weird. As soon as I break the tree. Really? I thought that would be enough to level up. Build that berry plantation it wanted. This is very, very good. Keeps them busy. And now we need to balance out our pals. So this guy... Oh yeah, we got one. We got one of each. We're good. We got the Gumas. Gumas is going to plant your seeds for you. So that you can just keep going. Yay, level 11. Now, I'm going to do my stat first. I truly and utterly want my HP up. That is important right now. I think we'll challenge the boss next game week. Like, because they operate on days. As you know, the episodes are kind of by days. So, we'll probably do it in the next week as I got this to unlock the high quality workbench. Hell yeah. Let's unlock the metal axe and the metal pickaxe. Those are very important, like I said. Once you get the primitive furnace, then you craft the advanced crafting table, and boom, you are in business. A few more pal spheres. Okay. Now I'm going to go craft another box, was the original thing. Oh, five more wood and three more still. It's no biggie. And we can see the parachute. The parachute helps so much. Just go on down. Just choppy choppy. Okay. This way. Whee. Oh, no stamina. That's right. Oh, what am I doing? There. I should not be complaining about hunger for a while now. And yes, I came all the way down here for stone. I know, kind of stupid. But I also wanted to see if there was any new pals in this little foyer area. Which, it does not seem there's anyone new. 
Same old characters. Same old, same old. Get some extra wood. I think that's excellent. And we made it. We made it back. What a long trek. Just to build a damn chest. And put all this important stuff in there. Now, I did switch the game mode to uh, casual for myself for the playthroughs. So I will respawn with all my stuff. But I'm always going to have a good practice of, like, putting it away. Because you don't want it to go missing. You really don't. It sucks. Okay. So, from here, I would like to go up and to the left. Because I know there's someone here. Up and to the left. Up that way. Ah, okay, okay. I think this is the right way. Hey, look at these guys. The heck is that? Oh, the Malpaca. Get him. Get the Malpaca. Oh, you useless. I gotta get the freaking chicken out. Yeah, there we go. Malpaca. He's gonna brutalize him. Pull him to the pallet, yeah. Man, this needs to... Attention. 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 Eek, that's a low percent chance. He's just gonna jump out, isn't he? Yeah, I don't even have a bow. Why did I craft so many arrows? I thought I had a bow. <clears throat> You'll be caught. Don't worry. Caught. Watch, just caught, even at a low percent. Oh, never mind. I'm, I'm not smart. Fine, you want to play dirty? Huh. There we go. That should be a catch. From Alpaca. No? Seriously, that wasn't a catch? Wait, he's gonna brutal him. Oh, no. That one. No, he took them both down. No, he didn't. I got that one. At least we caught it. At least we caught it. It's nice to have a new one. There you have it, Melpaca. A Melpaca. Same difference. So, yeah, we are pointed in the right direction. We go that way. The Malpaki is known as a slacker. That's not cool. Yeah, we are headed the right way, except we're supposed to be up. So, let's go back up. If I can. Come on, don't run out of stamina. Ah! I hate when that happens. Such a short climb, too. Like, jump and just pull yourself up. Like that. Come on. Do, 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 do. Scaling the mountain. Okay. So we are indeed headed in the right direction. Just have to keep on moving. Dude. 
There it is. That's the marker I'm waiting for. 250-ish meters away. Not so bad. Try gliding down a bit. So I think, honestly, we went too far from the one that I was looking for with the with the shops and everything, but this is still a great area to explore. It's got a lot of different pals, as you could see in the distance there. These guys here, I think we caught one of them already. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at the scenery and how it just changes. Beautiful. They did a wonderful job making this game. And they're even just going to make it even better. Like, can't believe you could try to make something so much more better. What the hell's going on? Oh, shoot. Not a chance, dude. Yeah, chicken. Oh, yeah? You're going to attack my chicken? He's going to beat you. Yeah, good chicken. Palace fear for me. An axe for you. Oh. He took him out. Nice. There we go. And people thought Chickapee was the worst. Who wouldn't do anything. He's protecting me. Good little Chickapee. We're almost there. Oh yeah, we made it. This is where I was talking about. So you, when you discover chests, you unlock gold coins. And you come here, and you spend gold coins. You can also sell pals and such. Let's see if I can find anyone for you. For an example here, where did they go? There is a guy down here, actually. Yeah, it's right here. So this gentleman, you can buy and sell your pals. Isn't that amazing? Look, a taco taco. That's pretty cool. The Univolt, a Rush Roar, and a Dire Howl. And, I mean, like, for 5,000, those might actually be worth it. But let's go through ours and let's sell a few of our chickpeas. See, click Y. And let's go through and grab that one and one and all. Ah, uh, let's do that and that. That should be enough to get some gold. Start. There we go. Now we got some gold. I'm surprised I actually haven't come across a chest with you guys. That's funny. I've come across like hundreds with my other account. And we go here. This guy is very important. He is the wandering merchant I was talking about earlier. Or she. Actually, I can't tell. And you can buy and sell all of your like equipment and such here to her. For him. Uh, it's just so cool. Like You can sell the food you make. You can sell everything you collect, basically. And everything's worth money, so let me just grab it. Oh, shoot. I wanted to see what kind of things I could buy. So you can buy blueprints, right? You can buy the blueprints for, it looks like, uh, caps and hats and maybe, I think it's the attachments for the pals. And so here you could go through, you could get spheres medical supplies, and even freaking components to craft with. Like I said, there's wheat. Wheat is very important later on for crafting um, the wheat farms and stuff, so just make sure you keep in mind to discover this territory earlier in the game like we have. Now that we've discovered it, though, we can go even farther down this way and unlock another fast travel point, I think. Let's try to figure out how to get out of here in the right way. I'm just going to climb some rocks. There. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just going to go back to my base. My armor's damaged and all this crap. I think we have explored quite a bit today. So let's do some maintenance, shall we? 
First off, bring back material. Try not to leave empty handed. At least something, you know? Bring back at least a little something for the for the base. So we can fast travel back here. And everyone should be working rather nicely. Kinda. You're just sitting there. Let's repair my armor. Oh, I need more cloth. Okay, I need to craft it. How many? Two. I thought I had extra. I didn't use all the cloth for the one recipe. Crafted extra from that one. But whatever. So, let's repair it. Nice. No more issues. And we need for this ingots, wood, and nails. Wait. Nails, hey? So we got some ingots. That's good. But we need nails. So we'll just do that. Have them work on it while I go get more ingot. This game is rather uh, a looting game. Like you gotta really craft and loot and craft and loot. So just make sure you're prepared when you jump in to whittle away at resources for quite a while. It's not all just uh, guns and, and fun. Okay, okay. Some wood. I think that'll be good enough. I'm quite heavy. Okay, let's get some ore started and quickly food. You guys aren't cooking. There's 11 more ores. Nice. Couple nails. What do I need for how many nails? I need 10. That's not bad. And what else did I need for it though? Ingot. And wood. Well, I got some wood. Let's go get more. While they work on this. Oh shoot, I forgot. I needed to build a whole nother bed for them in the base. Otherwise they'll go they'll get stressed and get ulcers and get depressed. It's not fun actually. Really not fun. We made a bunch of videos and they're probably way more advanced than me. But you get to see it in like real time. Like there's barely any cuts. I cut some of the resource farming. I cut a lot of like the stuff that there's no content for really I don't think. Because personally I know if I was watching it I wouldn't want to sit here and watch some guy just make nails for 20 minutes. You know like that's not cool. So... But apart from that, you guys get pretty much raw gameplay. Not not much, there's barely any editing to these videos. And so they kind of are mediocre. The game glitch, I will try to figure out. I can't run it on my computer, so I apologize. I just have to game stream some of these. So if that's an issue, and you know any way around it, that would be helpful. Or even I could start up a Patreon, and you guys could send some money for a proper gaming PC. How about that? That's probably a great idea. I think so, because this laptop is great for schoolwork. Like, I'm running 12 gigs on an Asus VivoBook from 2020. Like, it's crazy. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. That was days 5 and 6. Tomorrow we will finish our first week in Pal World. Thank you guys for watching, and stay random.